Hello! Welcome to Psychonauts. Lit as a little warning, I've already played this game, but I'm gonna call this series a blast from the past because I like to play old games once in a while. So without further ado, let's start this. It's a new game. You're obviously gonna see some fireworks because I've already played this before. Plan them the, the game to be human mind. 600 miles of synaptic fiber, five and a half ounces of cranial fluid, 1,500 grams of complex neural matter. A three-pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield and the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead, and this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you will die. Oh, Maury. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psychonaut, then you might as well be dead. They told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dogen, don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years, and trust me, nothing ever happens. Yeah, Dogen, Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. Bobby Zilch, I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests, Superstar Psychonaut Sasha Nine and Mia Vodello. Whoa. Light monster! Formation. It's resisting. Quick, bring it over here. What is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Kid, get in! Ugh. My name starts with a D. Is Rasputin. Mm. But everybody calls me Raz. Please don't kill us, Lake Monster! Compelling. Armored like a tank! Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please, continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government training facility. I know. Isn't it great? Listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling, but... To soar across the astral plane. To wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift. But the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you. And your father, 
looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, they make you a hero. Get that soldier a bunk. Now, darling, you can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you, but we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Wowie, you're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something, to make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen, but they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find, what they don't expect, is Raz, the Psychonaut. And, and, and then you'll make their heads explode? No. Do you do that? No. Well, once, kind of. But... Now I wear this special hat. Want to try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine. But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I've got big plans for that mind. Cutscene done. <laughs> I keep forgetting how long these fucking cutscenes are. Ah, here we go. So we got Mr. Jambo over here. Uh, I'm gonna delete this one. Yeah, there we go. Delete. We're gonna make a special space for this playthrough. I'll have this one, please. Let's call this one. Um. Uh, <laughs> mop. Uh, <laughs> mop. There we go. Oh my god, I couldn't think of anything to call it. So there we go, mop G. Stands for more. Oh fuck, I don't even know what the thing means. The letters mean. I got to sleep. I settle down in here! Big day tomorrow! I want to see each and every one of you runs in my classroom at 0600 hours on the dot! I'm the early bird, and you're the worms. Got it? Now, lights out! 0600 is pretty bad. Fucking hell, I wouldn't be able to wake up that early. <sighs> Old man! I remember you. Okay, quick eye exam before we start. Huh? Look over that way if you will. Luckily I know the controls. Wow, what's that? Oh, that's a Psy challenge marker. The staff scatters these all over the camp to test the students. Every one of these you find advances you a whole rank. Uh-huh. Now look up for me if you will. Hmm. Some of the old markers have fallen apart. You'll find bits of them flapping around loose. If you find enough of these side cards, you can put them together to make a brand new challenge marker. But you have to buy a side core at the camp store to hold them together. Keep ranking up and before you know it, you'll be able to use brand new psychic powers. Stuff you didn't even know you could do. And then when do I become a psychonaut? Because I have to do that before my dad shows up to take me home. Hey, where'd he go? That guy looks so familiar. Which is a line I will never understand. Hey, Raz! Hurry up! You don't want to be late for basic braining! Woohoo! 
Basic braining is the best class ever! Woohoohoo! Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to turn down the master volume. That is pretty loud. Sound. And that'll do. That's better. Right. Let's have a look around. Toilet! Card. Our heads gonna need those to grab the cobweb duster later on. Later on, might have to designate a whole episode to collecting arrowheads. Oh! Ah! God dang it! How do I not know how to use these things? There we go. Oh! Obviously, I know my way around, so uh, don't expect me to forget anything. So, challenge marker. That's a level up. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Boy, I had some speedrunning skills there, but no. Well, let's talk to you, Dogen. I'm telling you for the last time, no! I Creepy would squirrels. never do that. I could never kill everyone. Oh, hi, Raz. Squirrel trouble? They're liars is all. Whatever they tell you, it's a lie. I'll take your word for it. You going to class? Yeah, I'll meet you up there. As soon as they get these guys to shut up. Okey croak. Wait, what? <laughs> um... <laughs> oh, card! <laughs> Luckily, that cutscene... Oh. <laughs> that took a bit of a dark turn. Killing all those squirrels. Righty-ho. Let's... Take a trip. Just gotta get myself prepped, because I know there are a few things I need to get before I actually start attempting these levels. I need to level up so I can grab uh, an item to help me in the future. Oh, can I even reach that? Nah, I probably won't be able to. Also, I'm playing this game because I'm kind of prepping for when Psychonauts 2 comes out. Oh yeah, that's the sandwich Looks that like I need. It's completely frozen in a big block of ice. No shit. Gonna need a power to get that out. Probably won't actually get the scavenger items in this playthrough. Yeah, I'm prepping for Psychonauts 2 because I have a feeling it's gonna be a very good game. And I would like to record that as well. Depends how I'm feeling though, obviously. Card. Need one more, and I can make another side challenging marker. Cards, where are you? And by worst, did you possibly mean the best? Because that's what. Oh, that reminds me. I gotta put bloody. Oh, fuck off! I don't wanna. Sound subtitles. Yes. But I was thinking. Yep. There we go. Right. Let me go up here. Do you know what? Because this is going to be uh, a, a first episode, I'll get through basic braining. Hey, where are you going, Maloof? Shh, I snuck out. That class is a death trap for crazy people. Listen. The coach is strong. At the start of class, he pulls you into his mind, and then there's nothing you can do about it. But once you're in, you can use these smelling salts to sneak out. Take mine. I don't need them anymore. I'm calling my parents to come get me before I get hurt. Too late! Bobby! Ah! Hey, kid! 
You owe me five <laughs> arrowheads for this week's protection service. Jeez. Cough it up, my loser, or you'll be coughing up bloody tears. Hey, leave him alone. I heard a rumor that you were raised in the circus. Well, let me put this in terms you'll understand. I'm the strong man around here. Really? Because you look more like the cotton candy. <laughs> Benny, put this kid dead on my to-do list. Come on, we'll see him in class. Yeah, we'll settle Some this fucking on the moldy candy floss. Coach Oleander, I'm reporting for basic braining. Son, do you realize that to take my course, I will have to pull you into my mind. And you will have to Doesn't he need consent every to do this? Scarred memory of every battle I have ever faced. It won't be pretty. Are you sure you wouldn't rather run around a bit more in the sunshine first? Let me in. I'm ready, sir. Well then. You're late, soldier. Now get in here and give me twenty. <laughs> I hope it didn't record that invitation I just got. If it does, that is going to be in extremely annoying. So, this is it. The mental world. It looks like a dentist office. A mental dentist office. It's a recruiting office, kids. And I'm here to recruit you for the greatest job in the world. Being a psychonaut. It's about fighting a war for mental freedom. Are you ready to face torture, insanity, and death? Yes, sir. This is your last chance to chicken out. Oh, me, sir. I'd like to chicken out, please. Too late, soldier. But you said... There's only one way out of here. Mm. Fighting. Reminds I me of a scenario of the went down in real life. Square in a jaw. I warn you, once you do... The war is on. Fuck you! Ah, that's what I'm talking uh, about. Charge! Rip. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of obstacle course is this? That kid just got killed. A mental obstacle course, you bleeding heart. He's not dead. His astral projection just got kicked out of my mind. And I'll kick your astral projection out of here too if you don't get moving right now. Run. Mentalis Uberalis. Ow. Oh, fucking hell. How did I not see that? There we go. Nope. You ain't getting me this time. Oh, figments. They bring back some bad memories. Relax. That's just a figment of my imagination. You can run right through figments. They help you rank up, and when you rank up, you earn new psychic powers. So whenever you see a figment, suck it up, soldier. Come it's on, almost, it's get almost, that figment. It's, it's almost like figgy, breaking figgy. the fourth wall. Hey, what are you staring at? We all have it's emotional you can rank up. kid. Why don't you make yourself useful? Sort some of it out while you're in here. Keep your... Oh, shit, I didn't mean to skip that. There it is. Now, you will pick up that tag and you will put it on that bag you just found. Unless you'd rather just drop and give me 20 right now. <gasps> Yay, he's happy. That tank. You hit that ladder hard, son. Show it who's boss. Oh, don't want that appearing on my screen. Bam. Another tag. Got to do some leveling more here. Yeah. Watch out! Fire down below! 
Ow. Yeah. We can't get past this. This is stupid. Hmm. Looks like a test. There's probably a secret, more advanced route. What's that supposed to mean? You think you're more advanced than me, new kid? So advanced, you lost what? all your fucking I'm teeth. Stupid. You're stupid. The coach is stupid. The whole camp is stupid. That thing flying at you is stupid. What's flying at me? Whoa. Bobby Zeltz's foot, that's what? You stupid new kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> thanks for saving me. Well, actually, I was saving this plant. Huh. Never seen one so meaty before. I have. It's been appearing in this creepy nightmare I keep having. You're having nightmares? Oh, I've been reading about how to fix those. Will you let me see one? Hmm, no. Right, Let's waiting more motivating. I know a shortcut, but I'm just going to take you the right way. Oh. Oh yeah, another Let's Play that's going to come up is the DLC for Resident Evil 7, the Not a Hero <laughs> DLC. That'll be fun. It better be long, because it took fucking while to come out. Should have came out. I think it was spring. This year. Is your name Joey? No. Joey's I'm going to call you Slowy Joey. That's not my name. What was that, Slowy? I can't hear ya, you're talking too slow! It's <laughs> so brutal, man. Oh. Shut up. Controller's getting a bit low. Why is there an invisible wall? There we go. Oh, let's move around so it looks like I'm actually... Uh, there we go. Bam! Oh, I just skipped a platform completely. Move, move, move! Now that kind of wall, you can climb it up, down, sideways, whatever way you want. Just get on it. Quick, like a monkey. He's such an asshole. Why? Hey, slow down, you kid. Fuck off, big ears, McGee. You feel Bobby will make us look bad, and Bobby will pound to death. Bobby, can you hear me? Deal nothing with your ginger freak of a friend. Watch those mines, kid. They'll blow you up like a ten cent kazoo. No time for mistakes. Come on! There we go. Did you beg your pardon? <laughs> As he falls yeah. out of the plane. Jump, Come on, give me that! Yeah. Uh. Right, something I hate about this game is that it takes fucking hey, the look. Oh. It's Raz! Yay! The voices are so loud. Maybe you'll be able to beat this darn game. We can't do it. Yeah, we're no good. And the coach won't open the gate until someone wins. Yay, Raz! Just punch that to start. Shut up, shut up, shut up! We'll never give up on you, Raz! You score enough points on this course, kid, and I'll give you a reward. Yay, reward!
Give me lots of points. Oh, and they're dead. Didn't like them anyway. Most people, they got something to hide. They store away their shame, their dirty little secrets, and these tiny vaults in their minds. But the enemy is not allowed any secrets in wartime, are they, soldier? So go ahead and bust open this vault. I got nothing to hide. We'll see about that. Come on. Come ah. here. <laughs> ah, good. Hollander's oh, pride. There's him doing victory. You running through fight and parachuting. Penis rocket. Healing kids. You would great. Enjoy waste that. my time. One of my favorites. I'll save you, bag. Oh, he's so happy. Great. <laughs> Destroy the moment by displaying a notification on my screen. Rawr. Ah. Glad that shit's over. <laughs> hope he dies. Spoiler, he doesn't die. may seem like a friendly game, but there is a lot of dark, um, sanity type things, uh, psychological problems, that's the word I'm looking for, what well, the words. Hold it right there, boy! That's a mental cobweb! You can collect them with a specialized piece of equipment once you get checked out on it. Till then, just steer clear of them. That'll require a cobweb duster. Move, move, move! As you can see, the trapeze is very difficult. Most cadets can't handle it. You might just want to stay away from it. You still get a participation. And I did. Oh, I keep skipping it. I'm an idiot. Oh, actually. Eh, this shit. I'm not coming back for that, unfortunately. You'll have plenty of time to stand around when you're dead. Secret. Uh. Hey, my bowels move more than you do, Pokey. Yep. He loves bowel jokes. Hey, my bowels move more than. Hey, 
kid. I yeah, think I see a silver dollar out there on that rail. Watch a wa Ha! Sucker! See you at the bottom! Ratchet and clang stuff. Grinding on the rails, but I don't need grind boots. Oh, not you! Oh, no. <laughs> I don't even know what that's supposed to be. I think that's supposed to be Coach's face, but in metal and it looks a lot scarier. to do. Hey, that damaged me. Oh, no, it doesn't. Did you expect barbed wire to damage you? Oh, 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 oh. Wait, can I just skip that? Well, I have no fucking clue. Cobwebs. Hello? Hello? I guess I'm early. Oh shit, I forgot about that door. <laughs> Mysterious white toilet room. Hold it right there, son! <laughs> Just what in the Sam Hill do you think you're doing in there? I was just looking for a way out. Oh, sorry about that. Didn't think you'd get to the end so fast. Dang, I didn't think you'd get to the end at all. You surprised me out there, kid. Here, you've earned this. Your first Psychonaut Merit Badge. But I'm always glad to see a soldier come back from the field alive. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go back in. I left some good men back there. Oh, good. He looked like he was about to shit himself. <laughs> Way to make us look bad in there. And you are in trouble now. Bobby Zilch ain't oh. happy. Bugger off. You better watch yourself, Goggleicious. What's that, hair boy? You want a piece of me? Hey, Brainiacs, settle down. Why? You worried I'm gonna hurt your boyfriend? No, because Sasha Nine is standing right behind you. Your performance, young cadet, was outstanding. I'd like you to report to my lab for some advanced training. Raz the Spaz is gonna be in a special class. Benny, remind me to give him a special beating later, okay? These tests are unauthorized, though, so I can't actually ask you to come. But if you happen to drop in, well, what could I do? Let me just give you this. Remember, your talent will always set you apart, Rasputin. Sometimes isolation is a good thing. It can lead to important discoveries. Wait! I don't even know what your lab is! Is this some kind of test? Sometimes isolation is a good thing. It can lead to important discoveries. And now I'm hearing things. Great. That's all in object. Blah blah blah. Right. Let's put this way. So, the next episode, 
is going to be me farming for shards because there are some things I need to get before I feel like I can proceed on. So, I guess on that note, I'll see you in the next video, which should be maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, I don't know. Depends how I'm feeling. Alright, see you later.